How to fix Steam Captcha appears to be invalid issue on Windows. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel App Guide. In this video, I will simply show you how you can fix if the Steam Captcha appears to be invalid. So you simply want to make sure to watch this video till the end. Now, if the Steam Captcha appears to be invalid, this could be happening due to many reasons. Now, it depends on where it's happening in the first place. Maybe you're trying to download a game from the Steam app, or maybe you're trying to go ahead and then download a game from the Steam website. It could be happening due to a couple of reasons, or maybe you're just trying to create a Steam account and then it asks you to verify the captcha it appears to be invalid option is not going at all. So in order to fix this, what you need to do is first of all, we're going to go ahead and open up your browser. If your primary browser is actually Google Chrome, I just recommend you to switch to some other browser and then see if that fixes the issue. Or else I would recommend you to clear the cookies and all of the site data. To do that, on the top right hand side, you can see this three dot icon. Just click on it. Once you go to the three dot icon, here you'll find the option that says settings. So you just want to go to settings. And once you go to settings, here you'll find all these sorts of various options where on the left hand side you'll find the option called reset and clean up just go to that and then here you'll find the option that is clean up computer and restore settings to default you can just tap on it and then here you can choose the option called reset settings and then after that it asks you to clean up computer you can go ahead and find the clean up computer option as well and then after that what you want to do is again click on the three dots from the top right hand side and then this time you want to go to the option called history and then you want to go to the section that says history and then once you come to the history tab here you'll find the option that says clear browsing data just click on it and then over here you want to make sure to select at least the last seven days once you select last seven days select browsing history cookies and other site data catch images and files you don't want to fill out these passwords if you think it's important to you and just click on the option that says clear data once you choose the option called clear data it might also sign you out of some of the accounts and hopefully this solves your problem if not then sometimes this could also be causing with the files on your pc so first what i'll do is just open up your switch box and then type in disk cleanup so once you type in disk cleanup you'll see this application over here just open this disk cleanup app and then here you simply want to select the drive c drive and d drive depending upon which disk you want to clean click on the ok button it will scan all of the files over here and once it scans all the files you'll be able to select those files and just choose the option called ok in order to delete all these files and last but not the least open windows settings and then go to windows update and then check if you have updated it to the latest version because sometimes updating will also solve the problem hope this video helped you if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have got any more questions feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video